Hello and welcome. Now, this is our last stop in the Maharashtra election trail. And with me, two young and fresh gentlemen, Dorab Supariwala. You've had a long ride. But yes. now you know everything about the Maharashtra elections. I did before we began to, but you now I do even before. more. Sorry, so sorry. I'm, and uh, the real person who knows in depth this election because you've done so much work on the. Well, I've worked very hard. I've traveled 14 hours to Dorab Supariwala, so I know right. everything one needs to know about Maharashtra. And where have we ended up? We've ended up, okay. I'll give you a big quiz. Just have a look at this. One look at this, where could we be? Dorab, if you see oranges, you are in? Nagpur. Nagpur, right. Nagpur, known for three things. One, oranges. Two, the RSS, RSS headquarters. And three, I'll tell you later. But let me just find out, sir. Is Sal Fasal Kesu orange ka? Orange ka Fasal ka He says that the orange, because of the drought, uh, the orange, uh, the harvest is thoda kam hai. Okay, okay. Uh, basically the drought has affected the first crop, that's this one, but the next crop is absolutely fine because of the late rains. That's going to have some impact on this election, but who's going to win and who's going to lose and why, that's what we're going to look at over the next uh, about half an hour. And we're also going to talk to some of the major players. Now, before we go into any of these, uh, well, players, I, I want to give you the bookies, what the bookies are saying. Are the bookies better than uh, sephologists? Always, always. Better than your opinion polls? Always. Why don't you become a bookie? Much That's more. not a bad idea. A bad He'd rather be a better than a bookie. Uh, That's he's right. betting. He's already... Right. Dora. Don't say <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a betting man. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, the bookies here in Nagpur are saying, Congress plus NCP 140 seats. Shiv Sena plus BJP 117 seats. So that's a difference of 23 seats. In other words, just 12 seats switch and it could be the other way around. Uh, the Shiv Sena could be in the lead. So it's, it is close. And then the MNS, Raj Thakre's party about 12. So broadly, broadly, Shekhar, when you're uh, in your entire campaign what what seems surprising 10 years in power don't people want to change did you get that feeling i think what's surprising is a lot of people talk about change but what's surprising is that there is no real anger usually you find that right. after 10 years of a very of very incompetent governance which you know, this has had yes in fact when you talk to congress people also and you know when you talk sort of uh, with arm around their shoulders or their arm around your shoulders right they None of them claims ran a spectacular government. But something has happened whereby they, something has drawn this venom away from them. And it seems to me that one of the reasons could be the sacking last year of the chief minister and the deputy right. chief, chief minister after 2611. So people think that people who were responsible for the incompetence, Sushil Kumar Shinde before that, and then these two have gone. And now there's a new set who haven't quite had enough time to build anti-incumbency against them. That, 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 that's a conjecture, but somehow... Yeah, that's the, a good point. Some so of the you anger can is missing. kind of counter anti-incumbency anti by changing the chief minister. What's surprising also... The, the, and the deputy chief minister. This, and the deputy, yes. Who's the home minister? Home minister. Yeah. Yeah. The home minister. There is a terrible, top two terrific leaders. inflation here. And yet, the opposition doesn't seem to have been able to capitalize on it. After right. 10 years of non-performance, this particular of enormous inflation, there seems to be no, as you were saying, no great real anger. You know, kill those guys, kick them out. There seems to be nothing like but, that. But, right. but, but, but that's also because inflation is not a Maharashtra-specific phenomenon. So when the opposition comes, the same prices also prevail in the states run by them. Yeah, yes.